Hey guys, how's it going? This is going to be the review for uh, the Takasa Tony <laughs> knockoff KO of Masterpiece Tracks. Okay, now I don't know if you can, how this is well this is coming across on camera, but I can tell in hand on the box. You can tell right off, not just by the fact that it says Takasa Tony instead of Takara Tony that it's a KO. But you can also tell from the print and cardboard quality, this is not equal to a real masterpiece figure uh, on the uh, packaging. It's, it's definitely not as nice of a packaging as you get with, you know, a genuine article, all that. But, you know, it's a KO, way cheaper. But, of course, all the photos are the same as the official release. So let's open this up and see what he's like inside here. Okay. Alright, here we have, uh, comes, it looks like, with a stand here, uh, some mirrors, uh, instructions, and a card. And here is, uh, obviously the figure and all the accessories. So, let's go ahead and see how, is there any tape to turn, yeah, there's some tape. Okay, let's get the tape out here. Oh my gosh, isn't this a fun unboxing, guys? I know, thrills, chills, and spills. <laughs> okay, alright, there we go. Because you really want to... <laughs> good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. <laughs> what I'm really curious about is how the plastic feels and the paint looks on this figure. So, and this is my first time unpackaging it, so this is a quote live reaction, guys. And, uh, feels pretty good. Now, I don't have the official one to compare this to. We got some softish wheels here. Feels pretty good in hand. Um, yeah, I can't complain about this too much. Um, the paint looks good. I mean, uh, there's not really any splotches or anything. And that is just honestly a nice looking vehicle mode. Um, yeah, that's definitely a Chevy Stingray Corvette. Can't complain about this. Looks pretty good. The pla the plastic feels pretty good. Obviously, I haven't transformed it yet or anything, so I can't speak for how it's going to feel in robot mode. But in vehicle mode, yeah, feels great. Let's see how she rolls. Oh, rolls exceptionally well. Yeah, uh, I definitely dig the vehicular mode here. No doubt about it. So, let's go ahead and uh, feel up the <laughs> feel up <laughs> feel up the accessories there. There we got his gun. Yeah, it looks like we've got a small version of Blaster here. And we've got... A guy from, you know, Track's friend whose name escapes me at the moment. Sorry, cartoon enthusiast. I mean, I remember the episode, but I'll be damned if I can remember this guy's name. I, I don't know. R Ricardo or something? I have no idea what his name is. So, yeah. and That's what they all kind of look like together there. In vehicular mode. Yeah, um... Go ahead, I guess we'll do some close ups of the car so you can really see the detailing on it because uh, I'm not going to flail through and attempt the transformation on camera of this. I've never transformed this figure before, and it's a masterpiece, so it's probably, you know, relatively complicated. You'll probably see me come back with the flight mode and all that, but, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, the car mode looks. Really damn good. I got zero complaints about this car mode at all. 
looks great so anyway I'm gonna pause right here fiddle with this thing a bit and uh, come back and we'll continue the review be back in a second guys all right guys here we have tracks in his flight mode on the included uh, stand that comes with the figure now one thing I like about the KOs and they, is they come with all of, and I mean all of the accessories that the genuine articles come with. So no complaints about that. I'm glad he comes with this stand. It's a nice touch. Um, yeah. That's what it looks like hanging up on the stand, right? Stand. Um, it has two points. It has a few points of articulation on the stand. Uh, you got a big, there's a big ratchet right there at the bottom of the stand. Uh, I just got the front of his piece came off. There's uh, another piece of articulation there on this, uh, at that point in the stand, and then of course on the very top. But, you know, um, yeah, that's a good altitude or whatever for this. Eh, yeah, it looks like he's flying downwards now. So, you know, you can experiment with the stand as you see fit. So, there you go. Let's go ahead and get tracks off the stand here. There we go. And, uh... One thing I forgot to cover in the other part of the vehicle mode is, um... Just like the genuine article, the hood opens. Ah, come on. Come on. How could I do this so many times when I wasn't filming, right? Oh my good God, man. And it happened, and it... Rest assured, this thing opens, guys. <laughs> I don't feel like struggling and flaming through just to show you a feature that everyone shows off in their reviews. But anyway, let me just go ahead and bring it in close. That way you can really see what it looks like in flight mode and it's a bit of a goofy mode of course but you know it's accurate I suppose it, it, just, it just looks silly and he comes with this weapon of course for flight mode and it popped out when it oh, I was messing with the stand let's see if I can get it back in of course not not while filming of course Here, let me just try real quick guys I know this is riveting there we go. Yep, see. Pew, pew. He's going to fly and shoot at you, right? So anyway, uh, I'll try one more time on the hood. I almost got it. Bear with me, guys. See if I can do it when I'm not, when the, when the heat isn't on. Ah, screw it. It's still not coming up. Anyway, whatever. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's his flight mode. Looks good. Dig it silly but I like it so anyway I'll pause again real quick and uh, we're gonna get him into his robot mode and cover that and talk about it and all that fun stuff be back in a second guys okay guys here we have tracks in his uh, robot mode and your engine to yourself why is the chest look like that well that's not an accident I did that on purpose guys now this thing uh, came in the box shipped with the Autobot symbol, uh, you know, showing on his car roof. Whereas, of course, that's not accurate. It is accurate to have the blue. And I just wanted to show off, yes, the KO does have the rotating chest panel. Since I did not show that in vehicle mode. Now, that's out of the way. Um, obviously, his accessories to come with him are teeny tiny in comparison. This is a Raul. I... He's he was in the instruction book, so yeah. Anyway, there's Raul, the guy who was in one episode, and then of course, and then of course we have a teeny tiny blaster, yay, right, in boombox mode. <laughs> you know, I guess it's yeah, it's a big boombox for a person. I don't know. Well, there were some mega ones in the '80s. That were maybe about that size. So, you know. Anyway, let's go ahead and do a few size comparisons. Here he is with Sideswipe, the standard Masterpiece Auto Car everybody likes to measure other ones against. 
Uh, they're roughly the same height at the head. And here he is with the obligatory MP10 comparison. And, you know, he's, you know, a little, you know, standard Autobot car size next to MP10. There we go. Here he is next to the tracks that I have that is close to him in size. And that is Alternator's tracks. And this is actually one of my favorite alternators. No, he's, you know, not G1-esque. He's definitely a reimagining of the character. But I, I do like this alternator quite a bit, actually. Um, the alternator is definitely bulkier and is maybe half a head taller at the head than uh, Masterpiece tracks there. So, yeah. All right, and another comparison. Here he is with reveal the shield tracks. Yay, right? And to lastly, G1 tracks. As MGO likes to say, precious, oh, so precious. I know, I'm stealing that from MGO completely, so, yeah. Anyway, G1, so, there we go. All right, now... That is all of the comparisons we're going to do. We're going to go ahead now and uh, just get into articulation of this figure. His feet are on uh, sort of like ball joints. And, uh, you know, different directions. Do they? No, they don't rotate. I'm sorry. They're on universal joints. Forward, back, in and out, but they don't really rotate. Uh, knees, nice ratchet joint. And, yes, this is a KO. Keep that in mind. Really nice ratchet joint there. Uh, doesn't rotate at the knee, but, you know, t top of the leg has universal joint. The uh, skirt moves up. You know, um, so you can really get his legs far up if you want to. Torso rotation all the way around. In theory, his shoulders could go all the way around if it weren't for those wings. I, well, I guess if you kind of maneuver, maneuver it a bit. Uh, in and out at the shoulder. He's got uh, rotation there at the elbow. 90 degree bend at the elbow, of course. Wrist rotation. Hands open. Head, you know, all directions. So overall, this guy is, needless to say, extremely poseable, as, you know, one would expect. So... The question is, should you get the KO, the, the KO this, or the genuine article masterpiece? Well, that depends on your need as a collector. Um, if, you, if you want a fun figure that's inexpensive, you know, uh, I would go with the KO because there's really, I'm going to go ahead and just give some views and stuff as I move them around. I can't think of any reason, uh, you know, because he's not lacking in any way compared to the genuine article, as you can see. I mean, the paint is really good on this thing. The detailing is all there from the uh, actual masterpiece figure. Comes with all the accessories, so, and, and it's, high, it's high quality. The plastic is high quality. The paint is high quality. Um... I have zero complaints about the KO figure. Really, in my opinion, the only reason to get the, quote, genuine article instead of the KO would be uh, basically two reasons. One, I guess, if you, you know, want to have higher resale value for the future, if you see your collection as some sort of an investment, you're definitely going to be better off uh, buying the masterpiece. Uh, if you don't care about that, and you just want a figure to display and mess with, 
Uh, yeah, I would say, uh, like the other Autobot cars I have that are KOs, uh, the quality is extremely good. The packaging is less quality, but the toy itself, I can't tell the difference between this and a genuine article, honestly, on the actual figure. It feels just like a masterpiece, looks just like a masterpiece the whole nine yards, so I would say, honestly, get whichever one suits you. Uh, that's pretty much going to wrap this up. If you did like what you see, as always, please, thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.